Hey, it's not an ugly looking mug. It's 12.03 Pacific Standard Time PM right now. It is October 21st, 2022 for a Friday. This is the Griever named John Weaver. This is the diary of the Griever named John Weaver. How you doing, my fellow zombies out there? Emotionally deprived and sleep deprived and everything else. The machine that you hear is what I sleep with. And if you happen to see any things popping out of out of here, any kind of creepy looking things, that's not special effects, that's reality check. It's called a bug fest. Anyway. Just got up from my nap. The lovely machine, the lovely face hugger. I was dancing about 15, 20 years. Nice piece of garbage, isn't it? But it still keeps me alive during the times when I need to sleep. And here's the other items. Okay, here's the question. Why am I showing this? Because this is reality. This is what I have to deal with sometimes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. How are we doing for today, my fellow grievers out there? Well, we are surviving. That is the thing. Every day is a survival, and every day if we are not triggered and not feeling the depression, then I guess we are doing fine. I know I'm putting myself in the third person again, aren't I? Not the first person. Sorry, I have an issue with it regarding this. Usually when I'm talking about myself, I'm putting myself in the third position. Because I'm assuming that there's another person out there, other than my own insanity self here, that I'm dealing with everything else going on in my life. It's been a long while uh, talking about just the personal issues, except when I'm actually feeling okay, I get off the topic regarding the grieving, and I'm talking about life, how it's affecting me a great deal. And I'll talk politics, I'll talk health, I'll talk something on here. But when I talk about getting triggered left and right, it's a miserable feeling, I'll tell you. The triggers happen subtly. And not all at once. I try to explain on my channel that the triggers that I keep experiencing are from the five senses. And not to mention memory. So I've got a brain working against me with the, with the memories and the thoughts. Then I've got the five external senses that the body uses to interpret our surroundings around us. Visual acuity, uh, visual acuity, we can see the things happening around us all the time. Unless we're blind as hell, then we got a, really got a problem. And with that, 10 years old, I'm still barely functioning. Yeah, next month. Well, actually in December, I think. No, next month. Talk to see an eye doctor. Thank God for medical insurance. Uh, what else was I? Smell. Hmm. A certain scents that would bring up something like uh, chemicals. Uh, well, for a man, we're not, we're talking about masculinity. Uh, musk. We're talking about deodorants, sprays. Um, a certain sense that we pick up that might trigger something. Even a butt kit with leftover ashes and a discarded cigarette. I'll explain later. Okay. Uh, taste. Food. Or something that I happen to run into that kind of reminds me of my family. Coffee for one thing. That's a constant thing right there, so I don't get triggered as much on that one. Uh, let's see. Nose. Feel. Feel. Tactile. Something I would probably pick up, look at, and be reminded. 
that my brother or my mother was alive. And uh, I'll show you. Now I know this is a reverse image, and I'm sorry about that, but this is what happens when you do selfies. Okay, boys and girls. Welcome to the jungle. Now, if you happen to see anything crawling around, that means it came out of the woodworks and they're hiding from light. Usually the backdrop of when I do my recordings, that's and right. And usually what I keep talking about, that's and right, let me show you. This is my mother, Marianne Shaw. Well, she did have a legal name at one time, but everyone called her Marianne all throughout her life, so she was known as Marianne. The cousins down there, well, they're not deceased. It's just a card that kept up there with uh, cousins who never keeping track of me. But the picture that you see right here, the guy on the left, my big bro, my big brother. I'm not opening up the cabinet just yet, but I just want to show you if you can just see it. Pets. Big tall blue one, Mama. Big uh, gray box in the background. David. I haven't put these things down since uh, one year ago. I've kept them up ever since. And the lovely station that I keep doing my broadcasting from. As I said before, if you happen to see any crawlings, don't freak. I'm still dealing with a bug war here. Flies are one thing. Crawlies are another. But this is my existence. This has been my existence for a long while. I'm a college student. And yes, you did notice the clock. That was my brother at one time. Long story on this one I need to talk about. Probably in another video. But it's something I need to talk. Yes, you not much. I know, I know, I'll take you out. I'll take you out. Give me a second. So, being of my life right now. I'll do another video and pass it off. Right now, she almost feel bad needs to see me, so.